Hey guys, Kenny's from Northern Performance again here. <laughs> um, so we got the uh, 408 in the red truck on the dyno today. Uh, we started off at like 469 wheel with just a street tune and super conservative on timing, like around 20 degrees. Um, the thing is taking a lot more timing than I thought it would. So we're up at like 31 and a half, 32 degrees at the top of like 7,500 RPM. Um, so far we've bested 548 to the tire um, that was through the converter locked uh, third gear and so that was also with the long intake runner uh, plenum bell mouse from fast for the fast lsx hr intake manifold so now we have a set of the medium ones so we're gonna try the medium velocity stacks and uh, see if we can squeeze out a couple few more horsepower because it's, it's carrying power really well to about 6800 um, the engine doesn't want to slow down, but I think the in intake's kind of just sitting there and kind of plateauing at that point. So uh, we're going to run this, uh, these velocity sacks in there right now, and then we're going to make a couple more test runs and see if we can't squeeze out a little bit more power, see just generally how it's going to change the power band. Um, I ordered a set of the short ones. Uh, they weren't in stock, so I'm not sure when the next time I'll be able to test those, but sometime soon we'll test those out too. So uh, yeah, anyways, stay tuned. Hey guys, so the little follow-up video on the 408 that we put in the red Silverado. Um, we ended up getting the short runners in the mail. Uh, Dick was on vacation for a week and a half or so. He went down and cruised the south coast and the midwest and stuff, so that was cool. Uh, but anyways, we're a little bit tied up at the shop. I don't know, most of you guys know that we, we bought a new shop that's like four times the size of our old one, so we've been really just overwhelmed with the amount of time and effort that we have putting into this. But anyways, to cut to the chase. So on the 408, we ended up throwing a velocity stack on it, got rid of the k and air filter, uh, and we picked up our little eight wheel horsepower, which it clipped us over the 550 range, which was what I was hoping for. Um, so it made 555 to the wheels uh, with the velocity stack. Uh, it's got a pretty healthy cam in it. It's 12 and a half to one, uh, 408 cubic inch on pump E85. Uh, but anyways, we uh, ended up switching the runners out. Obviously you guys seen the last part of it there on the part of the video. We did the, sh the mid runners after the longs. The, that RHS uh, ships with the long runners. So we put the mid range 146073s in it. Um, these are said to make it like eight and a quarter inch runner length. Um, so this, this did what I was thinking. It was very close to what the long runners were. Uh, lost a little bit of torque down low, but really carried power about 200 higher. Um, so these were pretty, pretty decent uh, gains everywhere and not a lot of loss. The short runners did exactly what we expected and lost a whole bunch of torque around 30, 35. Uh, these are the 146074 part numbers. This makes the runner length about seven and a quarter inches uh, is what they claim on fast. So anyways, uh, we'll show you the dyno graphs here in a second, but uh, just as expected, the long runners made peak power at like 6,200 RPM. Uh, the mid runners made peak power at 6,400 RPM. And then the short runners made peak power at around 6,700 RPM. Um, ironic enough, all of them made 555 to the tire uh, within a decimal place out of the best runs, some 553s and 552s. But for the most part, they all made the same power. Uh, they just, the, the runner length dictated where it made that power. Um, obviously with the, with the torque loss with the shorter ones. Uh, but anyways, we'll cut to the chase. Uh, we'll post a couple more videos real quick and then we'll post a couple more, or you know, videos of the truck on the dyno. And we'll post a couple of the dyno graphs for you guys to check out. Uh, but anyways, we've got a lot of new stuff going on, a lot of stuff going on with the shop. So we'll try to make some newer videos here in the future. We'll try to stay on our game, uh, try to get some stuff pumped out for this winter. But anyways, yeah, stay tuned guys. Hope you have a good time.